checked in to Crown Plaza Rouge! Yay! We literally just checked in and came out to our room. And first thing we really liked was our beds because they're a lot bigger than our beds from Amsterdam. Amsterdam likes to make things tiny, so we had like twin beds, which is fine. But here we have uh, double beds. Uh, we are located right near Market Square, which is the main thing to do in Bruges, and um, it's only like a three minute walk. It's probably less than that. It's probably like right around the corner. So we're in Berg Square right here, and that is the City Hall. <laughs> There's candy. And that is our hotel we're staying at right there at the Crown Plaza. Yay. So yeah, we're in a really great location. Super central. Very, very central. And then just over there, is the market square with the bell tower and it's a beautiful area i love this little park that they have here i've used um those benches over there several times just looking at that great city hall building over there it's just it's so grand and beautiful I think that's a city hall yeah so now we're gonna walk to the market square which is really just literally you see it right yeah Few hundred steps. We're about to uh, pass Crystal's, actually mine too, <laughs> favorite premium Belgian waffles. There's no line right now. What? Okay, every, anytime I don't see a line, I'm like, maybe I can get it now. <laughs> but yeah, there's usually like this huge line right here. This shells, shells Albert. See how like it's on. That's what it is. It's like dough. It's, dough. it's not like the kind you pour. Yeah. So it is. Super, super. And that's, that's the... That's you can get like good. just that, a plate with a coffee for four yeah. euros. And I saw a lot of people doing that this morning, actually. Mm -hmm. so you don't have to make it all sweet, because it's very sweet itself. It is, yeah. Because they put sugar on top. So now we're entering the Market Square. It's a big open Market Square here. So usually, or some days they have a market here, or vendors where they sell food, flowers. And the prices, when we were looking at the chicken prices, they were very good prices. Yeah, very reasonable. Watch out for bikes too. And then behind us here, or behind Candy here, that is the Belfry Tower. So you can actually climb all the way to the top there if you want to. It's 377 steps though, and I'm not even sure if I want to do that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm <laughs> Physically fit. Another interesting fact about this tower is that it leans to the east a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I can't tell from here, but it does lean. Interesting. Yeah. I, I can't really tell. for breakfast in Bruges. This place opens at 8.30. It was really hard to find places that open early for breakfast in Bruges, uh, but that's toast. It's really great. Uh, they have a great selection of breakfast, healthy breakfast items. Uh, their main thing is toast. So they put a bunch of things on toast. I got um, chicken and chickpeas and other vegetables on my toast. And I had the classic, which was avocado spread, or they called it avocado salsa, mm -hmm. with sprouts and asparagus, if you like asparagus. Mm -hmm. It is cold here. <laughs> it's, um, what day is it today? October 30th or 31st? Um, I think it's the 30th. 30th? Yeah, it's the 30th, okay. and right now, it's 40 degrees. It's 43 degrees. Yeah. So, pretty cold. <laughs>
is the Church of Our Lady in uh, Rouge, and uh, it was built in the 13th, 14th, and 15th centuries. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to come here to see uh, Michelangelo's um, Madonna sculpture. and Child yeah. sculpture. But it's under construction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, if you want to see that, that's five euros. But you can actually see um, part of the church inside for free. So that's what we did. We just kind of looked around. So just make sure if you are going to see it, that it's not under construction. Yeah. And you don't pay that five euros. But again, you know, you can go inside and see it for free um, if you want to come here. I mean, you should definitely check it out. Uh, it's they have some historical things in there. They have paintings from the 17th century. Um, looks beautiful in there. All yeah. churches look beautiful in Europe, though. <laughs> yeah. I got the strawberry fields. This is a classic waffle with whipped cream and strawberry. I got the classic waffle too with whipped cream and vanilla ice cream. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the chocolate line. And this chocolate shop is uh, the best chocolate in the world, they say, so. Michelin star, is it? Uh, yeah, it's been ready to Michelin star. They have their own plantation, I guess. So this is tree to bar with beans from our plantation. I might get this. So this is Mexico. Chocolate line plantation in Mexico. This one is Belize. Creator. Dominique, right? Oh, is it Dominique? Yeah. It just tells you the days of fermentation, drying, like the process it goes through to make their famous chocolate. Oh, it's cute bag. You sure you don't want a bag? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's some expensive chocolate. That is expensive chocolate, but it's worth it. Mm. The sauce is really good. Look at those layers. That was good. That is good. Potatoes? Yum. breakfast we're going to Balthazar. It's a little fancy breakfast place that has great reviews. It looks really nice in there and their decorations on their food look amazing. Okay here it is Balthazar. It's really pretty. Toast. Toast. Oh avocado egg. I am kind of looking for something simple like that. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank I'll bring you. you some pepper and salt. Thank you. 
Here you go. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. The coffee and tea come with these little chocolate muffins. Hey, Restaurant Inventor gives you a little snack with your coffee and tea. I'm trying to get a tour ticket for the brewery tour here at the house. Starting the tour. Mm -hmm. oh, it is warm. And there's a restaurant right next door. We just finished the tour. There's no video recording a lot of time. Um, so at the end of the tour is when you can have your free glass of beer. And you can choose from different beers, but he recommended trying the unfiltered beer because you can't get unfiltered beer any, anywhere else in the store. It's only in the brewery. And the only reason they have it unfiltered here is because um, you filter it basically it's a longer shelf life so i am trying unfiltered beer for the first time and they did say it tastes a little bit different so i feel like it's um it's a little more smooth maybe that's just in my head i really like it all right i'm gonna taste the unfiltered beer i'm not a beer drinker so it's actually not bad. It's really smooth. It's kind of sweet. I mean, it's still not my thing, but it's doable. It's doable. It's doable. <laughs> so I guess unfiltered beer I could do, but the filtered stuff is not for me. <laughs> So if you want to do a brewery in Bruges, go to De Hachman Brewery. Um, they've been here since 1856 and yeah. they give a great 45 minute tour. We just did it and then you also get a free beer at the end. I mean, we don't drink a lot of beer, but it was yeah. nice that they give you. Cause like the ticket is only 12.50. Definitely come here for beer if you want to have beer and if you want to learn a little bit of history about the beer here. Yeah. We're gonna grab some lunch now. Uh, we found this place yesterday called Soup, and they have some really cheap soup, all different kinds of soup. Uh, it's a limited menu, but um, it seemed cheap and a good option if you're not too hungry, but just needed to fill your stomach with something. I'm trying to find it. What's annoying is when you start and you have no idea like which way you're going until you walk like a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this place, this place has really great reviews, but they're only open a few days out of the week, and all the days we're here, they're not open. So it's right by the market square. Soup. Oh, yeah, it's packed inside. Packed. So what do you want to do? Theirs is a red table. So we were about to eat at the soup, but there's only outdoor tables left because it's a really small restaurant. Yeah. So all the tables inside were taken. It's a little cold and we don't want to eat with our jackets on and everything. So we're going to head back to our hotel at Crown Plaza and they have um, nice, a nice area to eat there. Mm -hmm. They have outdoor sitting there, but we're gonna eat inside because it's cool. It is a little cool. Unless they have like heat lamps or yeah, something. Yeah, but, but we've heard like the, we read the reviews. It's actually pretty good reviews there. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna check that out. I got the spaghetti bolognese. Is that how you say that? Bolognese, I think, yeah. Um, I just say spaghetti in yeah. America. We're, try we're trying. And then I got the cheese croquettes. This, um, I've seen this at several restaurants around Belgium and even in um, Amsterdam, so I really wanted to try these. They're pretty good. They give you a side of arugula salad, which is nice, with some tomatoes. 
We're heading towards the um, chapel that's from the 12th century. Mm -hmm. It's called Basilica of the Holy Blood. And it's said that they have a vial of Christ's blood from back in the day. From so, back in the day. From back in the day. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. It's uh, 35 degrees this morning. I think it's warming up a little bit to 40 degrees. But um, I mean, later on this afternoon when the sun comes out more, it's supposed to be in the 50s. Uh, if, tip, if you want to walk around here, make sure you wear good shoes because it's all cobblestone. And it's very beautiful, but take the toll on your feet if you're not wearing good shoes. Did you find it, Crystal? I did. This is, this is the Basilica of the Holy Church. They're supposed to have Christ's blood. A lot of people in front. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, it's like a toy. Upstairs. <laughs> steep stairs again. We ordered uh, the hot chocolate and um, the homemade, their grandma's recipe waffles. Uh, we're reading the menu, and apparently, this is a family owned business, and this is like their grandma's secret recipe. So, we wanted to get just a plain one um, so it can really taste the waffle. And the best part is, you make your own hot chocolate, and we got the, uh, we got the Winnie the Pooh hot chocolate. And look at the honeycomb here. And so you melt your own chocolate into the hot uh, milk right here. There's hot milk in here. And they give you a tiny little whisk. And basically, you, you just pour in the chocolate, the honey, the cinnamon. I think this is a star anise. And then even this little cup right here is made out of chocolate. So nothing goes to waste. Put it here. And mix. Mm. Big Winage of Bruges, and inside here are homes to some of the nuns. And it's been here for, uh, since the 1200s as well. Like everything here has been here since, yeah, like the 13th century. Um, but yeah, it was like a sanctuary of some type for nuns and unmarried women, and uh, they still have residents living here. So when you go through the gate, you just need to be quiet because yeah, there are people living them. here. Yeah. So, um, but then right next to it is also. This lover's lake is what they call it. Um, you'll see lots of swans. Lots of swans over there. You can even get close to them up there. So it's a very, very romantic and beautiful area. Little crews go by here. That's another thing to do here in Bruges. Definitely one of those canal cruises because you get to go around the city and see all the buildings and get a little bit of history. You get a lovely view everywhere.
It's my fifth waffle that I'm gonna try. This is from the mini truck that's in uh, the Berg Square. 